Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. Um, today we're going to be making distilled water. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, as you can see, I have a pot and it is a stainless steel pot. Makes kind of an echoey sound. It's about, it'll hold about um, 12, I believe cups it is. And you just go in here and you fill it up to about, I did a fourth, maybe a fourth of the thing. See where the water line is and then, you see what I mean? And then what you want to do is you want to take a glass bowl, make sure it's glass so that, and make sure that it is uh, fireproof so that it won't burn or anything. And you're just going to set it inside the water. Make sure that the bowl is floating on the water and that it does not touch the bottom. And as you can see, the bowl is just moving along. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a lid. Make sure you wash off your, your pot and your lid and your bowl before you make the distilled water. So what we're going to do is we're going to just place the lid like so. So, you know, it should be this way to close something. But we're just going to invert it and we're going to do it like that. So it looks like that. And if yours has a little hole the way mine does, just um, put a little toothpick or put something in there so that when you put the ice cubes in, which we're going to talk about in a second, it doesn't melt through. Okay? And then in order to produce the condensation, we want to use ice cubes. And here I have my ice. We're going to turn the uh, stove on. You want it to come to a boil. So we can see maybe a little more. There we go. We want it to come to a boil, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put the ice cubes, take like a handful of ice cubes, and just start putting it on top of the lid. And if you buy a big bag like this, you might want to, you might want to smash it. I have a smasher. You can also just throw the bag on the ground. Make sure the bag is tied, though. And just gently smash it. Okay? And then that'll make let the ice cubes come out a lot easily. I'm going to set it right there. And you can put as much as you want. But just so you know, when the ice melts, which it's going to melt, um, the lid is going to be pretty hot, so you might want to use maybe a pot holder to grab it and dump water out into the sink. So the more ice you have, the less you have to keep checking on it and putting more ice on. But you will have a big puddle of water. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that. It looks like that. And the water be be... Um, heating up and once the water down there boils it's the steam is going to rise and it's going to hit the lid and since the lid has ice cubes on the lid is going to get really cold and when the hot water touches the cold lid it produces a condensation and you're going to see that the lid at, at the bottom of the lid is going to be steamy and I'm just going to start dripping water into the bowl. And that water in there is going to be our distilled water. So I will come back and check on the water in a couple of minutes to let you guys see how it's doing. Hey, you guys, we're back. And as we can see, the ice has been sticking out And there's just a little one on it. So I'm going to take my mitten and carefully, without letting the water spill, I'm just going to dump this into the sink. 
and let's go ahead and set it down. Be gentle. Okay, and as we can see now, the water is boiling. So just want to lower it just a little bit because you don't want the water in the glass bowl to boil. And as we can see, all you need to take out is a little spoon and just go in there and see if there's any water, which there is. There's some water. It's not a lot, but there's some in there. And it's about up to there. And the water in the pot is boiling. And it's about it's about it's about to where the bowl is. So it's like right there. The steam's really hot. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Keep the steam in there. And we're gonna add some more ice to it. We came just in time to check. The ice had completely melted. So just keep adding a bunch of ice. Make sure you don't leave your mitten on the stove. It wasn't very smart. And just keep adding a bunch of ice. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to make sure your lid is um, pretty much equal in bo on both sides so that it doesn't, it doesn't tilt and fall. And so the water doesn't spill out when the ice melts. Okay, so that's pretty good. Just lower it a little more. So, there we go. We don't want it to boil that much the way it was. We just want to let it go to a good little boil. Okay, we'll check on it in a little bit, and I'll be back for you guys to see how much more water we've collected. And it has been about 15 to 20 minutes so far, so let's, I'll see you guys later. I let the water cool down and everything, so I'm just going to remove the lid. And it has no ice on it because I already dumped it out a while back going to set it down. As we can see, if we look in here, we still see the bowl and it has some water in it, about up to there. And the water that was in the, bo in the pot that was boiling is, of course, no longer boiling, but it um, has lessened, but it is still about up to the bowl. So I'm going to set the camera down so I can take the bowl, so I can take the glass of bowl out and not mix the two waters. So one second. Okay, you guys, so I've taken the bowl with distilled water out, and I have gotten a mason jar, put it inside a regular bowl, and I'm going to use um, a ladle. You can use any other kind of spoon. Make sure you wash it off first. And just slowly, you know, dip the ladle into the distilled water and try not to spill any out and just... And you put the mason jar inside a bowl, so that if any water just um, drips out of it, it'll just go into the bowl instead of onto the wherever you have it. So just keep doing that. And once it is done, so once you have completely filled up your mason jar with distilled water, what you're going to do is you're going to seal the jar with the lid. And you're just going to place it on there, and then you're going to use the other part to um, secure it. And by the way, you can get mason jars at Target or Walmart. I got mine at Target. So I'm just going to secure it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place it into a dark, a dark place so that no further intoxications occur. So I'm just going to place it in there, close it up. And it's all good to go, okay? So thank you guys for watching my distilled water. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.